Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Hillary 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and I have Brother Dan with me today. And we're reading some really exciting prophecy messages. I'm really excited. So I'm going to be in the New King James Version Study Bible in Philippians uh, chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. And I just said this at the end of the last uh, message we just put up. Uh, verses 6 and 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ Jesus. Glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. I got this word on November 12th of 2010. Shall the roar of the lion awaken thee from thy slumber? Who shall hold the light in their hand? Does not time watch over thee? Does not my word ring true in your heart? The mask of evil is revealed. Now is the time for silence to speak. Fear not, for the truth reveals all that is hidden in men's hearts. Greet the dawn of redemption. My spirit pours out on thee. The fruits of thy labor are not in vain. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. The path narrows as the journey continues. What Satan divides, I bring together. The seed of anger shall be slain by the sword. The cry of hope has reached my ears. Drink the wine of forgiveness and taste its sweet breath. Invoke my name and I shall answer thee. The burden of sin shall be lifted from thy shoulders. I have seen thy affliction, and I am with thee. Once the light has entered the room, darkness shall not return. Sacrifices made in my name have not been done in vain. I shall wipe away the te tears and comfort thee. Go in peace, my loyal servant. This peace I give unto you. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? So again, don't be running around <laughs> like I see everybody out there doing with this uh, the September date coming up and the blood moons and all that. Um, God's in control of everything. You don't have to worry about anything. Go to sleep knowing that whatever it is that's going to happen, it's His will. We can't change anything. So repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in Acts 238. And I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015. Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. God bless you all. Remember to like us on God's Solar 7 Facebook channel. Thank you, Brother Dan. Thank you all of our new friends and subscribers out there and everyone that supports our uh, God's Solar 7 YouTube channel. Amen. Shalom.